Now to an American charity school in Liberia where students almost lost their institution to a notorious sex abuse scandal, forcing the academy to close. Then a new Liberian-run organization was formed to reopen the school. In a report supported by the Pulitzer Center from Monrovia, Monique John follows one student on her first day back in class. Gift Asfala of West Point Township in Monrovia says she couldn't wait to get back to school. My teacher there are very good. You know, they are always willing to listen to us, willing to sacrifice for us. And there we get the best education from them. But last year, the 16-year-old dreaded going to class. Her school, more than the academy, or MTM, was making international headlines for disturbing incidents of sexual molestation of students allegedly perpetrated by one of its founders. McIntosh Johnson, a Liberian administrator at the school, had been arrested and charged with abusing students as young as 11, and ironically, in a previous appearance, seemed to express his concern for abused girls. These girls who have been abused morally, sexually, physically, these are the girls that more and works with. Johnson's case ended in a mistrial. He had AIDS when he later died in police custody while waiting for a retrial. Gift says she was never abused by anyone at the school. Still, she, like many of her classmates, was seriously stigmatized because of the scandal. I can drive with people going to school, so every morning I have to work to go to school by myself. At home, I don't have visitors. Everyone's like, I have AIDS or HIV since I attended the Modern Me Academy. More Than Me Academy, located in Monrovia's bustling downtown area, was shut down last June because of its sexual abuse scandal. But since then, a small group of concerned Liberians have reopened the school through their own brand new organization called Hilltop. Hilltop Schools was born out of an auditor's suggestion for a new group of qualified Liberians to carry on MTM's mission. The organization's leaders include past staff members, volunteers, and even some of the school's most active parents. The vision of Hilltop is that every girl or every student receives a quality education. Every student also is healthy and students are safe. An unnamed donor is primarily funding MTM. The school has to pass a series of evaluations in order to receive its payment installments. Much like the parents and administrators who are leading this new venture, Gift tells us she has big goals for the year ahead. We have a lot of curriculum this year, activities, so I want to be part of everything. This is my last year at Modern. So I pray that my year be a success. In response to the school's past incidents of abuse, safeguards and protections are being put in place. Background checks of the staff are ongoing. Monique John for VOA News, Monrovia.